Hey everyone, welcome back to the Riftsphere channel. In this video, we are going to configure Bazaar, a powerful tool that automates the process of finding and downloading subtitles for your movies and TV shows. We will be following the configuration guidelines provided by Trash Guides to ensure the best setup for Bazaar. Before we proceed, it's important to note that Bazaar has a limitation of supporting only one sonar in one radar instance. However, since we have multiple versions of sonar and radar for 1080p, 4K, and anime, we will need additional Bazaar instances. I will link to a video showing how to correctly install an additional Bazaar instance. After that, the configuration process remains the same with the only difference being the sonar and radar configuration for each specific instance. To begin, open the Baza web interface from the Docker tab in Unraid. Go to the general section under settings. Here, we can configure the authentication by setting a username and password. Don't forget to add this information and the API key to flat notes. Additionally, disable analytics and click the save button. Next, go to the Languages section under Settings. Here, you can enter the languages you prefer for subtitles. It's recommended to always include English as a fallback option. For example, you can set it to Dutch and English as shown in the Trash Guides example. But feel free to pick any languages you prefer. Scroll down to the Languages Profile section and click on Add New Profile. Give the profile a name and add all the previously selected languages. You can choose between normal or hearing impaired. Hearing impaired required. Or force options based on your preferences for subtitles. The normal or hearing impaired option provides standard subtitles that cover dialogue and essential audio information. Suitable for general viewers. On the other hand. The hearing impaired required option is designed specifically for individuals with hearing impairments. These subtitles include additional information that describes ambient sounds, music, or other audio cues to enhance the viewing experience. Lastly, the force option is used for translating only foreign or non-native language parts. It appears when necessary to help viewers understand essential non-English dialogue. You can also set a cutoff point where Bazaar will stop looking for more subtitles. Under the default settings section, enable series and movies and select the created profile. This will automatically assign the profile to your movies and series. Don't forget to save your changes. Now, let's proceed to the providers section in Bazaar. Here, you'll find a comprehensive list of subtitle sources that Bazaar supports. Each provider may specialize in specific languages or focus on subtitles for TV shows or movies. Take some time to go through the list and select the providers that align with your needs. You can choose multiple providers to increase the availability of subtitles for your media library. It's important to note that while some providers are open to use, Others may require an account or subscription. Configure the selected providers according to their specific requirements. Once you have made your selections, click the Save button to save your settings. Now, let's proceed to the Subtitles section. It's suggested to save the subtitles alongside the media files. Keep the Upgrade Previously Downloaded Subtitles option enabled as subtitles for recently released content often improve over time. Set the slider to 30 days. Disable upgrade manually downloaded or translated subtitles. If some of your selected providers use CAPTCHAs for downloading subtitles, you can configure anti-CAPTCHA services under the anti-CAPTCHA section. Moving on to the performance section, enable adaptive search to limit the calls made to the providers. Also, enable search enable providers simultaneously. It's recommended to disable the use embedded subtitles. Bazaar offers several post-processing options as well. You can remove tags, enable OCR and common fixes, and fix uppercase. 
Additionally, Azure can automatically synchronize subtitles. Set the series score to 96 and the movie's score to 86 as suggested by Trash Guides. Click the Save button at the top to apply the changes. Now, let's link Bazaar to Sonar. Go to the Settings section. Select Sonar. And enable it. Since we are using our custom network, you can use the Docker name as the address. Use the name of the correct Sonar instance. Being Sonar. Sonar 4K. Or Sonar Anime. And set the corresponding port. Retrieve the matching API key from flat notes and click the test button to verify the connection. If everything is correct, the sonar version will be detected, otherwise, an error message will indicate what needs to be checked. Under Options, set the minimum score to 90 and hit the Save button at the top. To link Bazaar to Radar, select Radar from the Settings section and enable it. Similar to Sonar. Use the container name for the desired radar instance, being Radar, Radar 4K, or Radar Anime, and set the corresponding port. Retrieve the matching API key from flat notes and test the connection. Once again, the detected version or an error message will be displayed. Under Options, set the minimum score to 80 and save your changes. Even though Bazaar is a set and forget tool, it's best to add it to Heimdall. It will show you information about all your subtitles in one place. And provides easy access if you need to change your providers. Don't forget to enable auto start on the Docker page. That's it. Azure is now configured to synchronize with your sonar and radar instances and automatically search for the desired subtitles. Please note that only the movies and episodes that are available will appear in Bazaar. Not everything monitored in the Star apps. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.